welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you the Cooler Master Silent M 600 watt power supply. This is part of building a performance gaming PC. Now today, like I mentioned, this is the 600 watt, but it also comes in a 500 entry level and a 700 watt version. They're all modular cable designed PSUs, so that's great. That's what we're looking for, along with the circuit protection, of course, to protect all of those components that you've got. It's 80 plus certified, it's got five years warranty, and it's SLI certified as well. So this is a great PSU for those looking to put two cards back to back. Now, here in the box, let's open it up and take a peek at what comes in it. First things first, you can see there's the silicon anti-vibration pads, okay, these rubberized pads that just go on the front and the back. That's terrific because you want to minimize the noise with that. And of course the power cable. And uh, you've got here the warranty card that comes, of course, and the manual on CD. And it shows you here on the, on the CD itself, actually, 500 watt version, 600 and 700 watts. So there you go. And the uh, manual also comes in paper version. So there it is, right there. And also, of course, the cables themselves, so the modular cables. Now these ones here are flat. So as you can see here, they're all black, they're flat design as opposed to the rounded ones that uh, have that uh, mesh sleeve on it. So these are pretty neat, fits nicely in tight corners, right? And that's what you're looking for, some innovative ways of uh, keeping things clean. And of course, you've got the uh, PSU itself that's wrapped in this uh, plastic bag here. So we'll just uh, slide it out. And one of the things that uh, I noticed as soon as you take it out is not just that huge fan, which we're going to talk about in a second, but also the logo. So the 600 watt uh, Silent Pro logo here and the Cooler Master written on the side, which looks very nice. As the voltage increases, the fan is going to obviously, the RPM is going to go up, right? So that's one of the things that you're looking for, a thermally controlled fan, which can react and keep this uh, heat minimized. So that way you keep this efficient right so the silent pro is very efficient um, rated to 85 percent efficient so that's what you're looking for when you get a power supply you want it to last for a while and um, here's the little legend on the corner it shows you the black connectors obviously for all your peripherals id hard drives sata all of that and the gray ones for your pci express those are the modular ones and here are the ones that are not modular these ones are connected that's the uh, motherboard cable of course the 20 plus 4 pin which obviously you need so why make that modular right you need that and also the 4 plus 4 pin uh, connector so that's another power connector that goes onto your motherboard and that one connects together if you have an 8 pin uh, plug on your motherboard so there you go and also the nice finish let's take a look here at the top too right if you look at the PSU from the top it's got a nice uh, frosted uh, black finish and the um, Cooler Master logo on the uh, side now let's go back to this fan that I saw, told you a second ago 135 millimeter fan with speed control that's awesome it's very very quiet and that's one of the highlights of the silent pro right that you have a very quiet fan just hums along you can barely hear it that's what you like about this now not only about the fan is good in design but the inside the Japanese made capacitors that's the other thing the copper and aluminum heatsink that's another thing right that's gonna help obviously keep this efficient and also prolong the life of the power supply itself that's why it has five years warranty now look at the railings look at the uh, amps how they're divided. You can see that there's a 12 volt rail there. The 40 amps for that 12 volt is more than enough to keep uh, many of your components happy and uh, to, to deliver basically the power that they need. Uh, with this, you're gonna get, of course, um, the thumb screws to install it, right? So the four black matching thumb screws that I've got there. Let's go ahead and, and prepare this for installation. Obviously, you would put the silicon pads tightly neatly along the edges at the back and uh, then do it on either side uh, figure out which cables do you do you need obviously so do you need PCI Express do you need SATA do you need IDE so look through the cables that it comes with and decide which ones you need you can see here five Molex nine SATAs it comes with the floppy connector you've got uh, obviously 
the PCI Express, which I'm showing you right now, right? So you've got plenty and they're all labeled. So you can't really go wrong on how to plug them in, right? They're all labeled and um, because they are all flat cable design here, you're barely gonna notice them going through your case, right? So that's, that's terrific. It's so thin, right? It's that um, it's gonna keep uh, the mess inside your case down to a minimum, that's for sure. So uh, let's go ahead and install this. So like I said, you put the um, anti-vibration pads on either side and make sure that the orientation of the fan is appropriate for your case. In this one, I've got the air coming in from the bottom and going out through the back. It's the Cooler Master um, Sniper case that we're using here. And it slides in very nicely. And of course, you would attach the uh, four thumb screws at the back, right? So um, that was uh, hassle-free. Just just put them in there in the holes and uh, tighten them up and it's sturdy. And the next thing to do is obviously do your cable management, right? So you've set aside which cables you need to use and you slide them through the back if you've got the opening on your tray for cable management and uh, install the rest of your components so you can uh, put this uh, to the test. And that's what I did, okay? After I had this uh, installed, I put it to the test with the following type of hardware so you can pause the screen and take a look at the configuration. It's the same configuration I used in my previous video so you can take a look at that. And basically, consistency is what I found both on idle and on full load, it delivered what it was advertising and that's what you want, right? It didn't um, fall short anywhere. So not only is the kit complete, but the PSU delivers also a complete uh, amount of power. It delivers and it's very quiet and that's what you want. And if you're not looking for a thousand watt, you're looking for a six or a seven, well, this is for you also. So I recommend this and I'd like to thank Cooler Master for providing it. And I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.